Hey guys, Anthony here. This is one in a series of short videos with explained to you tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually adjust the size of the timeline. So I've got a project open here with a couple of scenes. In this first scene, I've got a few elements on the timeline. And if I use these buttons up top, I can expand the timeline. So for example, if I use the S button, which is for small, you will see that it opens up the timeline and it gives me sort of a small timeline size. But it's a bit too small because there are a few more elements hidden down below. If I use the M for medium, it expands a bit too much and leaves too much space here. And if I use a large, as you can see, it's way too big. And I can't even see the canvas. So let me go medium for now. But apart from using these buttons up top, you can also manually adjust the timeline. And if you hover your mouse like so across this horizontal bar, you will see this double headed arrow. So your cursor essentially changes into this double headed arrow. And you can manually left click and then manually just adjust the timeline like so. So in this case, I could bring it up here or here, depending on whether I want to increase the size of the canvas or decrease the size of the timeline. If I want to, I can completely hide it as well. And this can come very handy, as you can see. Also, if I open the canvas, it works on the same basis, like so. Well, hope you found this tip useful. Look for more short videos on explain your tips. Thanks for watching.